Diana Friend. And we're all booked up. Kathy and I have always had so much fun talking about books because she's the professional and I'm her worst customer. <laughs> I would not say that, Diana, but go ahead. <laughs> well, it's because I'm always asking her, you know, what's good to read. And uh, she asks, well, what kind of books book do you like to read? And that's really hard for a librarian because... Uh, they need to know more about me to be able to make recommendations through the years. She's made fabulous ones, but, you know, as you age, you need to write it down. And so I always tell Diana, you need to write this down. You told me about this book and told me to write it down. Yes, I the did. The Paris Wife by Paula McLean. Yes. And this is her first novel right. about... Ernest Hemingway's first wife? Hadley. I, I didn't know that he had more than one wife. She did. That's not the. Hadley isn't the one that's famous. No, it is not. Okay. She's the first one, and she came from St. Louis, and they met each other, and they got married, and they went off to France because he wanted to be around the French. They were, you know, the ones to be around when you were trying to write. However, he didn't have much money. So. He lived off of her money, and that's how they lived in France. How convenient. Yes. How nice. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could. Does she have a brother? I don't know. Or another, or another relative. Sorry, John. <laughs> you, you really end up really liking her a lot. And you see exactly what it's like to live with Ernest Hemingway through this whole book because she does great research. The research on this book was phenomenal, and she did a great job with it. Well, I like the idea that it's... Uh, romance mixed in with history. It is. It's a kind of a romantic historical fiction book. Well, Ernest Hemingway doesn't strike me as he'd be an easy man to live with. He was not, and I think that's the thing about him. He was not an easy man to live with at all, and Hadley shows that in all the way through the book. Does he have a happy ending? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. I think I think it does have a happy ending in that Hadley, they, they end up getting divorced, and I think she's happy. I think he's happy, as happy as he can be, um, but yeah, I think it does. I think you feel for her, you feel how badly she must have, what, what she went through with him, and how badly she must feel, but honestly, I think she was probably much better off. How long were they married? You know, I don't really know how long they were married. It wasn't long, but they did have a child together, oh. and uh, you know, they. she never, ever, ever said anything awful about him, never said anything terrible about him, but they did go through some terrible times. They did divorce. Um, he actually wanted to live with his second wife and with Hadley, too. And oh, it, it, well, that works yeah. out. Yeah, so, you know, it was it's an interesting combination. He's a very interesting man. She's very interesting because she would never, ever say anything mean about him. Even in later interviews and in true life interviews with her, she never said a mean thing about him. She always said he was a prince. I want this book. No, you need to write it do down. Do we have it at the library? We do have it at the library. Okay, so you can check it out. You it's can Topeka check it out. Topeka Shawnee County Public Library. That's it. Bye. This Bye. is this week for All Booked Up. Mm -hmm.